This is a help video for you if you're starting to learn the grade two scales on the violin. We're going to go through all of the scales and the arpeggios um, as a pair, so G major scale and G major arpeggio, because you will need to play them as a pair in the exam. Now we're going to start off with G major. This is a two octave scale and we're going to start with the lowest octave. So we're going to start on the open G string and go. Up to the G on the D string. Your fingers are in their normal positions here. And also you'll find that the first note and the last note are twice as long. When we play them in the exam, we make the tonic, that is the name note of the scale, twice as long as the other notes. Then you start on the note that you've just finished, which is a G, and you go up to the G on the E string. Now, for this, you're going to need to squish your second finger, draw it back, on both the A string and the E string. So it will go. Like that. When you're happy with both of those, see if you can join them up. Don't squish your fingers, your second finger, in the first octave, but do squish it on the A string and the E string. Here we go. Of course, you're going to want to play it downwards as well. You may want to practice that as a separate thing, but it is the same notes so you can play it upwards and downwards. Here we go, all of the scale with separate bows. Now I said with separate bows because the other version of this scale that they may ask you to play in the exam is with slurs and the notes would be slurred in pairs apart from that longer tonic so it will go like this <laughs> arpeggio goes with the scale. Arpeggios are a pattern made out of the notes of the scale. They will use the first, third, fifth and eighth notes that you played in the scale for each octave. So if you take the G major scale that you just played and go one, that you will need in your G major arpeggio. So it will go G, E, D, G. And then you carry on up the second octave, counting this now as note one, G, E, D, G. Note that my second finger on that E string is still squished. It was squished before, it's squished now. So, the whole two octave arpeggio will go. And then of course you will go back down again. And the whole arpeggio with separate bows
isn't a long tonic when you play the arpeggio it's even notes all the way through and you will play it all with separate bows there are, there's no slurred option for the arpeggio so when the examiner asks you for G major you'll play the scale followed by the arpeggio you can make the last note of the scale the first note of the arpeggio or you can separate them it doesn't matter so I'm going to play the G major scale slurred bowing followed by the G major arpeggio with separate bows. The next scale is C major. If you've done violin grade one, you will already have done this scale and arpeggio. It's exactly the same as it was in grade one. So you start with three fingers on the G string. Your second finger will be squished on the D string and also on the A string. So the scale goes like this. <laughs> Arpeggio again uses notes one, three, and five of the scale. It'll go. Make sure you squish that second finger on the A string. So here's the C major scale, followed by the arpeggio. I'm going to play it with slurred bows. Uh, 